All right, so hopefully the wind isn't as bad today. Um, I, and I'm doing it a little bit differently. So you can see I got the camera set up in a different spot. Hopefully that'll help with the audio. Um, it's also very early, um, before eight o'clock. And uh, I was down here and figured I'd check them out um, since it's nice and warm today. So let's take a quick look. Also, I'm a little worried about the Russians. I don't want them to swarm, so I'd like to keep an eye on them pretty closely for the next couple weeks. Um, I may end up having to put more, uh, put another box on them. This hive is going to be crammed full, and it's going to be kind of interesting because we've never seen a morning hive, but all of the foragers are in the hive right now. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, hopefully my suit's clogged up a bit, or uh, closed up enough, because they may be a little aggressive today. Okay, let's have us a look here. Got a lot of bees, see how that's coming through. Uh, sorry, let's zoom in a little bit. There we go, that should be okay. Like that, okay. Um, let's just get right to it. And it's just barely warm enough for this, but it's supposed to get warmer throughout the day, so I'm not overly concerned. Um, sorry, I thought I was quacking. Um, uh, quacking is something that, uh, rival queens will do when they're close to hatching. I think it's called quacking, but they'll make a noise that sounds a little bit like quacking, um, and it basically warns um, potential rivals that they're getting ready to hatch. Uh, let me do another little round of smoke here so I don't make them mad. Oh, got somebody fly up in my face. Alrighty. Let me do a quick... Uh, Self smoke. Alright, so I need to get this frame out here. I need to do it without breaking this box, too. It's fairly cold, so the propolis isn't uh, easily malleable. There we go. So if I'm correct. This should be a honey frame. And it appears that it is. Come on now, get off. Oh my gosh, I'm literally moving this whole box. Chewy, there we go, got it. So it does appear that it's a honey frame. And I don't see any brood in here, which is nice. This side... Um, I see one egg. It looks like that's all I see. That may just be a mistake. I can't even find it again. Yeah, okay, so... Looks like honey. Now what I'm looking for here is um, queen cells, because uh, as I mentioned, the Russians, I might not have mentioned it, I've been thinking it all day, um, Russians are a lot more likely to swarm, um, they swarm a lot faster. So if I see that they're building queens, and actually just from looking at this, um, I'm a little concerned because they are bound, their box is full. Um, let's see, it doesn't look like they're backfilling these guys with, uh, eggs just yet. They got some pollen, though. I don't know how well that comes across. I don't know how high I'm holding these either, by the way. Also looking for the queen. Um... I guess I should probably zoom out a bit, or at least see how it looks. See what my shooting range is. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. It's 
go up a bit too. There we go. So you don't need to see the box. Alright. Um, so what I'm thinking is it's fairly nice out this week. Man, they are just all kinds of aggressive here. Shoot. Yeah. It's a chill. It's a chill out of it. Um, the problem is... The problem is, um, foragers that aren't foraging are security. So, since nobody's out foraging right now, because it's still too early and too cold, we got a lot of, uh, defenders on the hive. And you can tell the defenders, because they are the ones that will come flying up at your face. Which is almost everybody right now. We're getting a lot of, uh... A lot of antagonism from the bees today. Hope I don't get stung. I don't think I should. I think I'm pretty well protected, but we shall see. Oh my gosh. Shaking them around doesn't help either. In case you were wondering, that's not a thing that bees like. So I want to look at the bottom. That's where the swarm cells would be, and I don't see any. I'll take a look at the brood here. So this is all filled with eggs again. We got capped brood. And it looks like brood. Looks like we got some dead ones. Um, I feel like these have hatched since last time. Um, yeah, we got little baby larvas here. Some pollen, capped brood. No queen yet. Looks like all of these cells are brood chamber. Um, so they are pretty well into spring buildup. Um, oh my gosh. Well, morning. Wake up. Wake up time. What's that? You're not up? Okay, let me drop your frame. So these bees are not my friends today. Not friendly bees. off of me right now. Um, I can hear them hitting me and then they crawl on me and if there's any gaps in my suit I'm just gonna run away so if I suddenly flee the camera feel free to mock. Let's take a look at this one. This should be a solid brood frame here. And it is. It's a lot of bees on there. I'm looking in these swarm cells and I don't see any Larva, and I don't see any eggs, so that's good. Um, got some drones there. Got some drones there on the bottom. This is mostly workers, though. Um, take a quick look. Yeah, so we got some eggs there as well. Um, still don't see the queen. I believe she's going to be white. Uh, but I also don't see... Oh, there's a queen cell. Or a queen cup. And it's empty. So, also don't see any queen cells here, so that's good. Um, the typical description for those is peanuts. And uh, if I ever see one and show it... I mean, I've got some on my Imgur account um, that you can see. But peanuts are a apt description. Get rid of this corpse here. So we got a lot of brood here. Um, a lot of brood. Shoot. No queen, but the fact that there's still queen, or there's still eggs and stuff from last time um, means that she's definitely here and definitely active. So that's good. And there's enough young cells, or enough young brood here that even if the queen were to die somehow, um, most likely they could make a new queen in enough time, which is, that's always good. You don't worry about that too much during the spring, because there's always brood being, um, hatched and being laid. But, uh, when it's mostly winter time like this, I mean, we still haven't had snow or anything this year. Um, when it's mostly winter time like this, 
the queen isn't laying as much, and so if she were to die or I were to kill her during an inspection or something like that, you'd be a little worried, and I'd need to get a replacement or um, change my mind about the Russians and uh, put in a frame of Buckfast brood. Come on now. Whew. These are, they're making, um, they're making comb on the bottom connecting the two frames or the two levels so it's a little more difficult. Let me just take a quick look here. Got more eggs, more brood, more bees, capped brood, a lot of it. They're making a weird noise over there. Huh. Wonder what that noise was. I'm not, not seeing the queen. Okay, that made a mad. Don't blow on them. Note to self. Woo wee! That's a big old frame of brood right there. Look at that, that's pretty. Hopefully these are coming across. Oh, there's a uh, hive beetle larva. I'd like to get him, but he's getting down in the cells. Let's see if he shows up. Oh, sorry, kick the camera. So he's right about there. Um, I'm not sure if he's showing up, but he's in one of the cells over there. He might crawl out. Um, they're annoying, and uh, I'm actually glad that I see him a little bit because um, <clears throat> now I know what's like that there is a pest in here. Um, I mean, while that's not a good thing, it's at least something. Still no queen though. I'd like to see her. It'd be nice. Be a nice little surprise. I'll do another frame or two before I close them up. I wonder how I'm doing on time. Oh my gosh, get off my head. Let's see how I'm doing on time. Um, 16 minutes left. I got plenty of time. Alright, let's do another frame or two. Actually, let me smoke again. So I'm getting a little uppity. Hands on the bottom. That uh, helps calm them down a little bit, but mostly what it does is it helps mask the alarm pheromone. I'm starting to get whiffs of bananas here. And in case you didn't know, alarm pheromones smell surprisingly like bananas. I kind of like it, but it's not a good smell um, to smell if you're a beekeeper. Because that means that bees are rallying the troops. So it doesn't seem like much, but I'm exerting a decent amount of force to break all that wax. Okay. Ah. So you can see the cells down there are what I just ripped open. Um, got more brood, got more eggs, got more cap brood, got more drones. I don't see any hatch drones yet. That's a good point, I didn't even think about that. But. Doesn't look like any of these guys have hatched yet, which means they're still fairly new and we're on like the first round of them. Um, still no queen though. She may be in the bottom box. She may not want to say hi to us. And that's okay. Now the reason I'm standing on this side today and I usually stand on the other side is because you want to stand with your back to the sun so that... I don't know how well this comes across, but you can see down in the cells when the sun is at your back, so you can see all the stuff. Check out this next frame, and then I'll go ahead and uh, work on closing them up. And we can check out the buck fast. I'm not going to take this box off, um, partially because I don't think that we really need it. Um, partially because I don't really want to expose the bottom box to the elements and partially because it's very heavy and Nikki's not here to help me. Slowly pull this up. Ah, okay. What do we got? This looks like mostly honey. Um, by mostly I mean pretty much entirely. I don't see anything here that looks concerning. Flip 
over. Bees attack me. This is all honey too. Okay, so we're into the honey frames now. And that's fine. I'm good with that. Um, this next frame looks empty. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this frame in this empty one. Oops, sorry. them to start building and using that frame. It's got some stuff on it too. It seems like they're not using it. And you don't really want unused frames in the hive. Man, I might not be using this. Chewy if they claimed it as their own. Break my box. There we go. Okay. So yeah, you can see there's some honey here that most likely crystallized. Um, nothing on that side really. But the reason you don't want them to do this is because um, this is now an area where things can live. And the only thing we want living in the hive is our bees. So I'm going to scoot this honey frame out. Put this frame in. Hmm. I'm gonna smoke again because they're uh, again getting uppity, getting touchy. I'm gonna put that honey frame in there. Then I'm actually gonna scoot this brood frame over a bit, and I'm gonna put the empty frame in there. So this honey frame is gonna become the new outside frame because there's no brood, no eggs, no nothing. And that honey frame is next. Then this honey and brood frame is going to scoot. And this empty frame is going to go in there. Okay. A little bit of minor checkerboarding maintenance here. Nothing major. Okay. And now we work on uh, closing her up. Squish. Now the reason I'm just pushing on these is because they were already tight together. Man, they are just not having this. This is... Shoo! I think they're getting antsy. I think they want to go out and uh, forage. So it's starting to get warm, so they're going to start um, being more active. The sun's hitting the hive now, so the hive will be warming up. Actually, let me take a look at this last frame here, because I didn't take that off last time. So yeah, hives warming up, they're going to be more active. And then, uh, all of the, um, foragers are in here. Come on now. I don't know how to get this hive, or this frame out. That screwed over all the way. Pick it up. Arr! Chewy, man. All over the place. All over me here. This is crazy. Okay, there we go. So I wanted to see this. This is another empty frame. So I'm actually going to scoop this and I'm going to put that honey frame on the outside because uh, I want them to use these frames since we're kind of running low on space. I don't want any empties in here. And by pushing it out, um, the bees tend to stay. They need to get to this frame and so they'll tend to walk, squish everything down, walk to um, the frames that they haven't used yet. When they're walking on it, they're like, oh, hey, look at all this empty space. Excuse me, ladies, excuse me. Kind of squishing them in here. They're not too happy about it either. Mm -mm. Got some less than happy bees right up in here. Squish her down. 
slowly but surely so they have time to get out of the way. Put a decent amount of force. I gotta redirect a bit. I'm break my box. Push them down. Okay. Then this side. Push them down. Okay. And then we gotta, I gotta move this. It's not gonna wanna move. I know that. Well, okay, well, that's down. They are less than thrilled. The bees are so mad at me. So, do a little aerial smoke, try to get them off my face and my hat here. Let's do a little smoke, try to get them down into the hive. We're gonna close these guys up. <clears throat> I got what I needed out of here. I'm actually gonna flip this. Cause I might be coming back with um might be coming back with a top for that. That's my debate is do I want to um leave them as is for a little while in preparation in case it's gonna snow, or do I wanna add another box on top? If I add another box and then it gets super cold, we run the risk of uh, chilling the bees so they have more area to heat. But I don't know that that's that big of a risk. Um, so, I don't know. I'll figure out what I want to do. Um, and you all will be informed. So, seven minutes left. I'm going to set up for the Buckfast and I will start back up there. Alright, I know it's been forever. Um, so I'm going to combine these into one video so you all definitely won't even notice, but you had to do the bug bass. Now they're a little taller since they have the medium super on there. So they're going to be a little more difficult to uh, show on the camera, but hopefully I can get it. Now these guys, I think I am, there's something in here and on me or something. I don't know what's going on, but I keep getting tickled by grass. Hope it's grass. Believe it, it's grass. Um, these, I think I am going to take the top, the medium super off because I need to check their brood. I need to make sure that their uh, queen is alive, um, healthy looking, everything's going well. So we're going to do a little bit more of an in-depth thing here. Oops. <clears throat> I'm not super worried about this box, so I'm not even going to really look in there. Um, we're just going to work on separating here. Maybe easier said than done, because they've had all winter to close these gaps. And actually, it looks like it's pretty good. Um, let's see if I can get it. Oh, sorry. I got squished somebody. Pick it up. Okay. And set it down. Okay. That's our medium super there. Um, go ahead and smoke. I don't know if you can hear the cow. He's not happy. I think he sees me and is wondering what I am. I don't know where he is. Okay. Um, man, this thing in here. If this was a spider, I swear to God, I'm going to lose my damn mind. I was actually just thinking I'm going to come around the other side. Um, actually, I need to lower this a little bit. I was just thinking how neat it is that uh, we've had these bee suits in a box in a shed, this shed, barn thing, um, what, two years now? Two winters? Never had, uh, never had spiders, never had bugs, never had nothing really in there. A bee every now and then, but they usually die. I was just thinking that. Um, because, in this area especially, um, black widows are a thing, uh, brown recluse are a thing. I don't know what you know about the brown recluse, and I don't know how much of what I know is hearsay and how much is true, but, um, <coughs> my dad tells me that he had a buddy who got bit by a brown recluse, or a co-worker at one point, who got bit by a brown recluse. He had a scar on his arm in the shape of a circle. What happened was uh, 
he got bit and the venom um, started eating away at his skin and it ate away and ate away and he uh, I doubt if he had insurance but he tried um, alcohol hydro uh, what is that stuff hydrogen peroxide um, oh, come on tried all kinds of stuff ended up solving it by dumping uh, Clorox bleach on his arm and uh, that neutralized the venom, but not after, or not before a golf ball sized circular hole had been eaten away in his skin. So I'm not really too crazy about seeing any of them bad boys. Too spoopy. Right, so this looks like honey. Uh, really, as soon as I see eggs, I'm gonna call it good. Um, <clears throat> Mostly because it's probably getting kind of late, and I still need to get to work. And my nose is running for some reason, and like, super gross because I can't really wipe it. Shut up! I'm gonna wipe it anyway. Yo! Yo! What an astronaut do when the nose starts running? Drip. <clears throat> I was gonna say, I wonder what scuba divers do when their nose starts running, but they probably don't notice. Ah, look at that, we got brood. All right. We got brood, we got drones. We got little baby broods. Um, little baby broods. I don't see any eggs. There's some eggs. Okay, so we do have eggs. Check the other side. Okay. We got little baby broods, we got eggs, we got a queen cup there. It's a swarm cup. It's all the way on the bottom. I don't see anything in it, but that's concerning. Um, especially with the buckfasts. We don't want them to swarm. No, no. Let me check this next frame too, because it looks fairly empty, so I should see a lot of... Uh, a lot of eggs in there. Maybe the queen. Nice. I'd like to see a queen. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, Alright, it's not as empty as I had thought. Um, no swarm cells here. Okay. Um, seeing things fall, I think they're bees. Hopefully, not the queen. Speaking of which, don't see her here. Let's flip. Oh. Yeah, I don't see her here either. Oh, there she is. Um, make sure this comes through. Where is she? Um, I can't see really. Where'd she go? Go around to the other side? Oh, no, there she is. She's right there we go. I see her. There she is. There's our buckfast lady. She's got a blue dot. Which means, sorry Miss Queen, you won't live to see the fall. Um, usually you don't keep a queen really longer than two, maybe three years if she's a really good producer and makes a lot of honey. Um, as the summer goes on, I'm going to ooh, whoops. I'm going to be evaluating her and um, if she's not the absolute best queen that I've ever seen in my entire life and her honey production isn't that great, which I don't think we'll have a problem with that. Um, then I am going to uh, <coughs> pinch her and make a new queen. I may do that anyway, uh, because queens, their maximum life, like the longest they live, is maybe like five years or so. Um, but as it starts getting towards the end, um, I know the wind's picked up, I'm sorry. Um, as it starts getting towards the end, 
they stop producing as many eggs. Um, they start having health problems. They start introducing the problems in the hive. It's just not, not really that good stuff. I'm gonna flip this actually. Not good stuff. Um, so, in order to avoid that, you tend to kill them and make it, uh, have the hive make a new queen. Um, usually you do it every year. Uh, for her, I didn't do it because, uh, it was a new hive and I didn't want to introduce that kind of stress to it. Um, but next year, it will not be a new hive. This is now an overwintered hive, which means it's basically earned its stripes. Um, it's well established. Uh, uh, and chances are it'll make it through another year. And it'll do just fine. And actually I, I intend and plan on having a lot of honey from these guys. Um, Russians too. But these guys I know for a fact I'm going to have a ton of honey with. Because um, in the time that they were from a nuke to here we basically filled that medium super. I'm pointing like you can see. Basically filled this medium super here. Um, now what I need to do here coming up, um, coming up soon, I'm going to be putting this queen excluder in again. And I may wait for a month or so, but there's no real reason to wait. Um, Actually, yeah, there's, well, I'm not gonna make it any more difficult to inspect. <sighs> I'll wait. Um, no, I know where the queen is. I'm gonna put it now. The reason why I want to put it in now is um, I don't want there to be any brood in this box <clears throat> because I plan on harvesting that box and uh, if the queen gets up in there she's going to start laying eggs and if the queen gets up in there and I don't see her and I put the queen excluder in, I'm going to trap her up at the top and I could figure that out. Um, as time goes on, because I would see new eggs there, um, and then I would just do a deep inspection to find her and, uh, put her somewhere else. Like, actually pick her up and move her. But, um, through all that time, she's not going to be in the best egg-laying area. So, I'm going to go ahead and put her, or put this clean excluder on now, so that she cannot get up here anymore. And that way, uh, I'm not worried about if there's any eggs in there now, because if there are, the bees will hatch and they'll be able to crawl through the uh, crawl, th crawl through the queen excluder. The queen cannot, obviously. The name queen excluder. Flip this one too. Um, and what I mean by flipping is uh, there's this gap here. Can you see that gap? Yeah, there's that gap there. So 17 minutes, wow. Um, and in the winter time, you flip it over and it leaves a little air, um, little air gap. And uh, the bees use that to help them with circulation and everything. And then they also have their exit in front there. Um, I flip it and that gets rid of that air gap, which isn't necessary in the summer. Um, I don't really know what the main reason is. That's what I <clears throat> that's what I remember from uh, the class that I took. You need to not be there. You all need to move. Scoot, scoot your butt. Scoot your legs. Okay. No, that doesn't mean crawl up there. Go. And go. Okay. You also need to go. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You can be on there. Whoops. Move it down. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that ends that. Um, uh, I'm going to try... I should be able to get this uploaded today because I'm headed into work and I should be able to do it there. Um, 
in the spirit of things, I'll go ahead and take this off of here and we'll take a look at the front before I turn it off. Um, not much activity because they're still waking up. But here's the front of the Buckfast Hive. There's a couple little ladies exploring and coming out, pooping, going back in. Here's the front of the uh, Russian hive. And now this one I've got the wrapper screen on because they're a lot smaller and you can see the size difference. Russians don't have that upper box so they're a little weaker um, because of it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll actually do a quick... Eh, no, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to try to get this uploaded today, and uh, I will see you all next time.